Hello everyone, welcome to Storytime at the Columbus Metropolitan Library. My name is Mr. Ryan and I'm so happy to be doing Storytime for you today. Storytime is a great, fun way to interact with your little one and help them get ready for kindergarten grown-ups. Today, we are going to focus on the ready for kindergarten skill of letter recognition. Grown-ups, as you're reading books at home with your little one, point out those uppercase and lowercase letters. It's a great way to help your little one work on that skill and when they get into kindergarten, they'll need to be able to identify those uppercase and lowercase letters. So today, we are going to talk about something that starts with the letter B. -b, -b, -b. We are going to talk about books. Isn't that awesome? I love books. Books are so great. Books are so fun to read. So we have our letter of the day, the letter B the letter that book starts with. We have our uppercase B and our lowercase B from right there, Lo uppercase and lowercase. So today we are gonna read some fantastic books. We have our first book, which is called, can you see it? There's a monster in your book by Tom Fletcher and illustrated by Greg. Abbott. Oh, this looks like so much fun. And there's our letter of the day, the letter B, and that's an uppercase letter B. So let's see what happens in our book. <gasps> oh no, there's a monster in your book. <gasps> oh no, there's a monster in the book. Oh my goodness. <gasps> let's try to get him out. Let's shake the book. Let's shake the book and then turn the page. Let's shake. I'm going to shake the book. Here we go. Shake, 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 shake. Can you shake at home? Shake, 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 shake. Pretend like you're shaking the book. Oh, nice try. That knocked him over, but he's still in the book. Oh, our monster's still in the book. Let's see. It says... Tickle his feet and then turn the page. Tickle his feet. Let's tickle our monster's feet. Grown-ups, can you tickle your little one's feet? <gasps> tickle, 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 tickle. Tickle, 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 tickle. <gasps> oh my goodness. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Tickle those feet and then it says to turn the page. <gasps> oh, that didn't work. But he's laughing. <gasps> but he's still in the book. Oh my goodness, he's still in the book. Let's try blowing him away. Oh, and there's our letter of the day. The letter B, an uppercase B. Let's see if we can blow him out of the book. Blow really hard. Little ones, can you blow? <sighs> Grown-ups, can you blow really hard? <sighs> Good job, everybody. Let's see what happens. <gasps> oh, that's better. Now he's far away, but he's still... In our book. Oh my goodness, he's still in the book. Let's tilt the book. Let's see if that does anything. Let's tilt. Tilt, 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 tilt. Oh my goodness. Let's see what happened. We tilted the book. Oh, now he's over there, but he's still in the book. Let's tilt it the other way. Tilt, 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 tilt. Oh, let's see what happened. Let's see what happened. Oh. He's hanging on. Oh my goodness, he's hanging on. What a naughty little monster. Let's give the book a good wiggle. Let's give the book a good wiggle. Here we go. Let's wiggle. Little ones, can you wiggle? Can you be wiggly? Wiggle, 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 wiggle. <gasps> good job, grown-ups. Can you wiggle? Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Oh my goodness, good job being wiggly like our monster. Let's see if that does anything. <gasps> Oh, good. Now he's back over there, but he's still in our book. Oh my goodness. Try spinning the book round and round. Should we spin, spin the book? Let's see. Let's spin the book around and around. Spin, 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 spin. Oh, okay. We spun our book around. Let's see what happened. Oh, look. Our monster is dizzy. Quick, 
Now let's make a loud noise. See loud there, all uppercase letters, loud. Now let's make a loud noise. Can you make a loud noise? Oh, oh, good job. Let's make another loud noise. Oh, good job. Good job making loud noises, everybody. Oh, it's working. He's running away. Make that loud noise again. Can you make another loud noise? Grown-ups, can you make a loud noise? Oh, good job, grown-ups. Little ones, can you make a loud noise? Oh, good job. Good job making those loud noises. Let's see. Let's see what it says. Oh, louder. Make louder noises. Little ones, can you make another really, 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 really loud noise? Oh, good job, little ones. Grown-ups, can you make a really, really loud noise? Great job, everybody. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. There isn't a monster in our book anymore. Now, He's in the room! Oh no, there's a monster in the room! Oh no! Quickly call him back! Okay, it says, monster, come back. Little ones, can you yell, monster, come back? Oh, good job, little ones. Grown-ups, can you yell, monster, come back? Good job, everybody. Good job, let's see what happens. Oh, look! Look! Here he is. He's come back. Keep calling him. Oh, let's call his name again. It says, Monster, come here, little monster. Little ones, can you yell, Monster, come here, little monster. Okay, little ones, yell it really loud. Good job. Now, grown-ups, can you yell it, Monster, come here, little monster? Oh, good job, grown-ups. Good job. Let's see what happened. Oh, whew. our monster is back in the book. You do not want a monster running around in your room or in your house. The book is probably the best place for our monster. The best place for our monster. Monster, can you stay in this book? I think it's the best place for you. Oh. I think Monster wants to stay in the book, too. Let's pet Monster's head and say, Good night, Monster. I bet our Monster's pretty tired. Grown-ups, can you pet your little Monster at home? Can you give your little one a little pet? Pet, 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 pet. Give him a little pet. And then we're going to all say, On three, good night, Monster. Grown-ups and little ones, on three. Let's count to three, and then we're going to say, Good night, Monster. One, two, three. Good night, Monster. Good job, everybody. Good job. And oh, look. Shh. Our monster is fast asleep. Good job, everybody. Thank you so much for listening and helping with our book. This book was called There's a Monster in Your Book by Tom Fletcher, illustrated by Greg Abbott. Greg Abbott. And grown-ups, as I was saying, at home when you're reading with your little ones, Point out those uppercase and lowercase letters as you're reading. There's an uppercase letter. There's a lowercase letter. Point those out to your little ones as you're reading. It helps them develop that skill of letter recognition that they'll need to have when they get into kindergarten. Okay, well, we are going to read another book here, everyone. And this is a book called This Book Just Ate My Dog by Richard Byrne. Oh, my goodness. Let's see what happens in our book. And there's our letter of the day. The letter we're focusing on, the letter B. That's a lowercase b right there. So let's see what happens in this book. Let's open it up here. <gasps> Bella was taking her dog for a stroll across the page when... Something very odd happened. Oh my goodness. Where's the other half of her dog? Oh my goodness. Bella's dog disappeared. Oh no. I think the book ate her dog. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Hello, Bella. What's up? Said Ben. Oh, those are two B words, two Bs there. 
Well, Bella said, This book just ate my dog! Oh no, the book ate her dog! So Ben decided to investigate. But oh no, look what's happening to Ben! I think the book's eating Ben! Oh no! Ben disappeared too! Oh no, Ben! The book ate Ben! Oh my goodness! Suddenly, help zoomed in. There's the dog rescue. Help zoomed in. But then, guess what? It vanished. Oh no, the book ate the dog rescue vehicle too. Oh no. This is a very hungry book. Things were getting ridiculous. Oh no, the book ate the fire brigade and the police too. Oh no. I'll just have to sort this out myself, thought Bella. So, Bella went to investigate, but, oh no, burp, the book ate Bella too. Oh no, the book is eating everything. Oh my goodness. Sometime later, a note appeared and it read, Dear Reader, it would be lovely if you could kindly help us. Please turn this book on its side and shake. Thank you, Bella. So it says, turn the book and shake. Can you shake at home? Pretend like you're shaking the book. Here we go. Shake, 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 shake. Oh my goodness. Let's see if it did anything. Oh, it says to shake more. Shake, 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 shake. Oh, and look, it looks like things are falling out of the book. Oh my goodness. Thank goodness. This book was eating everything. Oh, and the, there's another note. It says, just one last wiggle. Thank you, Bella. Let's give one last wiggle and shake to our book. Shake, 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 shake. Oh, my goodness, look. Oh, huh. I see Bella and the dog and the dog rescue. They're all falling out of the book. Oh, good. Well, everybody fell out of the book and things got back to normal. Well, almost. Oh, what's different? Let's see, do you see something that's different? Oh, it looks like something's flipped. It looks like the back of Bella's dog is flipped. How silly. Oh my goodness, so silly. Oh, and there's one last note. It says, Dear reader, please tell this book to promise not to be so naughty the next time you read it. Thank you, Bella. The end. Good job listening, everybody. Give yourself a round of applause. Yay! Thank you for listening. That was This Book Just Ate My Dog by Richard Byrne. And grown-ups, like I was saying, the next time you read with your little one, point out those uppercase and lowercase letters in the book. It's a great way to help them work on that skill of letter recognition. And they'll, be, they'll need to be able to identify those uppercase and lowercase letters when they get into kindergarten. Okay, well, thank you so much for joining me today for story time. It was so much fun talking about our letter of the day, the letter B, and also our ready for kindergarten skill of letter recognition. Grown-ups, as I was saying at home when you're reading books, point out those uppercase and lowercase letters. Also, a fun thing that you can do at home is go on a letter search around your house and see if you can find uppercase and lowercase letters. Maybe look at the kitchen in the pantry, see what uppercase and lowercase letters you can find. Okay, well, thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. And check out our website, columbuslibrary.org. We have lots of great resources there. You can check out ebooks and audiobooks from home. Um, and have a fantastic day. Bye bye, everyone.